have you ever noticed there are no out openly gay men in top tier football? Why is the same can't be said for sports stars from other areas such as British Olympian Tom Daly and Welsh international rugby player Gareth Thomas who has set the precedent for gay people in sport and their coming out has made it evidently easier for young people to come out as well. Why is all other areas of sport there is representation of out gay sport and heroes the same cannot be said for top tier football? There has always been major controversy to men coming out as gay in top tier football. Even as recent as last year, a Twitter account was created called The Gay Footballer, where an under-23 championship player told his 49,000 followers that he was now willing to reveal his identity to the public. As a result of this, he received massive homophobic abuse and his identity was never revealed. This opens a question. Are football fans a problem by how wide there are no openly gay men in top-tier football, or is it a reflection of the UK public in general? Are we all ready to accept everyone? Back in February, I went to Village FC in Manchester. There I spoke to some men about their own experiences and their thoughts and views on what they believe can be done to combat this issue. Um, I put it off as much as possible because I was nervous, didn't really want to join a major football club like any this or any other football club because I was nervous about the homophobia in it. Played a lot as a child and then eventually just one day thought I'd come down try it out and haven't looked back since. It's meant an absolute world to me because it means I can carry on playing football which is something I've loved through my dad and now I can just keep enjoying it week in, week out. It means different things to different people. So we've got players who've been with us for most of its 24 years. Uh, quite a few players have been with us 10, 11 years playing and they must love it to stick around that long. Uh, we've got a lot of gay guys who, for whom this is a huge bunch of friends and kind of a second family. And then there's a lot of straight guys who just think it's a really good club and are happy to play for a club with our ethos, which is all about diversity. One of the reasons I stopped playing football when I was younger was because of some of the attitudes of some of the other players. Uh, this club made me feel welcome like, immediately and I've just really appreciated how much they try to help you. I feel the problem is much bigger than football and whilst all the efforts that are being made to kind of combat homophobia in football are very kind of noble, I feel like it's a larger issue with the entire world and how our kind of own prejudices have really got in the way of allowing people to do what they love and enjoy playing sports. Well, I think football reflects society and I still think that being gay isn't totally accepted in society. Um, I think over the last few years, prejudice, hatred, hate speech has made a resurgence. I just think society has gone backwards to a certain extent over the last three or four years. Um, homophobia is still very rife within society and I think it's still looked upon as being a taboo and I think professional footballers are just terrified of the the impact of actually coming out as gay the the abuse they would receive on the pitch from the terraces from the media and the press in this country um, so I think it's totally understandable to be honest with you the voice has got to come from the top um, you know when you've got a uh, a prime minister basically who's willing to use homophobic and racist language then that basically sets the precedent. Well I think you have a lot of, of issues, you have um, people in the board for the club say that we don't want anybody coming out because we'll lose you know, sponsorships or a lot of people might give bad press and uh, you'll have issues with fans, opposing fans calling names and yelling chants and it just, it, to me I think uh, it, a lot of people think it causes more problems than it would be just as easy to come out and say yes I'm gay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a top tier football player and deal with it. It's a lot more complicated than just having somebody gay on a top tier football team. Although there is no representation in top tier football, the same cannot be said for the National Football Museum in Manchester, where they have openly displayed their respect towards gay footballers. Throughout the museum they have exhibitions and tributes towards those who come from the LGBT community and you can go see the trophy for the Gay Football Supporters Network League in which 15 gay teams from all over the country compete every year. Hopefully there will come a day where all sexuality are respected, even in men's top tier football.